Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Friday. We got four matchups on this WNBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Working our way to 22.2K subs, so keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Really good promos, especially with FanDuel. New customers bet five, get 200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Also get a free trial of NFL Sunday Ticket. We got NFL coming up next week, so take advantage of that, guys. And yeah, we'll hop in it. I didn't have any action yesterday, but uh, yeah, four matchups today. Starting with the Indiana Fever versus the Chicago Sky. Uh, Fever opening up as a five and a half point road favorite with the over under at 166 and a half. Fever coming into this matchup 15 and 16. The Sky 11 and 19. Um, let's see. It's crazy. I mean, you got the Fever. Their Fever are playing great. Um, Four and one in their last five, coming off a sun win. I mean, man, they've gotten some nice underdog wins. Sky, they're playing bad. One and four in their last five. Um, it's insane just the Caitlin Clark disrespect that's happening. That Angel Reese is currently number one in the rookie standings. It's just mind blowing how the media really hates Caitlin Clark. It really is. The media hates her. They do not want her to be the best. She's broken. S more records than like anybody she's like the greatest player ever already and uh angel reese it's only because like she, offensively probably the one of the worst offensive players we've seen in WNBA. she gets a lot of rebounds yes but they're off her own misses a lot of times she can't make layups she is not doing anything caitlin clark's doing on the court not even an ounce close so the fact that she's not first in these rankings is just wild to me but that's something I could rant about all, all day long because that's just the media right there. They, they don't they don't want Caden Clark to succeed. We all know that. Um, love the Fever. They're playing great. I mean, man, since the, I guess, All-Star break or whatever, they've been playing great. Uh, the team looks really good. Playing well, Sky. They're playing horrible here. Give me Fever minus five and a half in Moneyline on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Lynx versus the Dallas Wings. Lynx opening up as a seven point road favorite with the over under at 170. Lynx coming into this matchup 24 and 8. The Wings 8 and 22. Uh, let's see, they played three times this season. Uh, Dallas won the last one 94 to 88, but they lost the two prior by double digits. Minnesota, they've won their last five plus. They're on a nice win streak. Dallas on a little two-game winning streak coming off a Vegas win. Uh, Minnesota, I, yeah, they're 5-0 covering the spread right now. They're in this five-game win streak. 4-1 covering on the road. Yeah, Minnesota's hot here. Hard not to take them. They're covering the spread good. Give me the Lynx minus 7 in money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Dream versus the Las Vegas Aces. Aces opening up as a 10.5-point home favorite with the over-under at 165. Dream coming into this matchup 10 and 20. Vegas 18 and 12. Uh, let's see, head to head. They played twice this season. Both teams splitting a game. Uh, the Dream, they've dropped their last three. Vegas, they're two and three in their last five. They haven't really played well. Uh, they've been struggling here. Vegas 0 and 5 covering the spread. 1-4 covering at home. The Dream, 7-1-1 one one covering the spread here. They're 6-2 covering against Vegas here where they've been really good. And, um, yeah, I, you know, early on I would have loved this line for Vegas, but, man, they cannot cover the spread right now. Give me the Dream plus 10.5 on the road. In the last matchup, we got the New York Liberty versus the Seattle Storm. Liberty opening up as a three-point road favorite with the over-under at 163.5. Liberty coming into this matchup 26 and 7. The Storm 19 and 11. Uh, head to head. They played once this season. Liberty winning that matchup 73 to 74 to 63. Liberty uh, coming off a Sparks loss. Storm, they're coming off an Atlanta win. Uh, Liberty 5 and 1 on the road. 5 and 1 covering on the road right now. 9 and 2 in their last 11. 
the storm. 0 and 5 covering the spread right now, uh, which is, you know, not really good. I like the Liberty. I think you're getting them at a value here. Give me Liberty minus three and money line on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.